Hello Year One, this is Mrs McKenna, I hope you're all well. This is a video for our SPAG lessons on Monday and Tuesday. We're going to be looking at the prefix UN. I have made a PowerPoint for you to work through. At the end of the PowerPoint, I will speak to you again. Bye for now. Using the prefix UN. What do these words have in common? Unhappy. Unstable. Unknown. Unsure. Have a little think. That's right. They all begin with the prefix un. What does the prefix un mean? Unhappy. What does that mean? Have a little think. That's right. It means not happy. The word unstable. What does that mean? It means not stable. Unknown. Have a little think. That's right, to not know something. And the word unsure. It means not sure. So what does the prefix un mean? Have a little think about this. That's right, it means not or the opposite of something. Right, so it's your turn. Have a go. Can you add un to the beginning of these words to make new words? Your first word is kind. What happens when you add un to kind? That's right, you get unkind. Your second word is tidy. What happens when you add un to tidy? Have a little think. What do we get? Untidy. The next word we have is lucky. What happens when we add un to the beginning of this word? It becomes unlucky. And your last word, usual. What happens to usual when you add un to the beginning of this word? Have a little think. That's right, it becomes unusual. So your main activity for Monday the 27th of April is to write some sentences using the un words that we have looked at today. You can write as many sentences as you'd like, but please write at least three. Then on Tuesday the 28th of April, I would like you to think of other words that have the prefix un in them. And then can you write those down? So for example, unhealthy is a new un word. Unbeaten is another. And make that list as long as you can. So you've worked through the PowerPoints, you know the activities, and now I look forward to reading some of your sentences. Let's end with a little joke. Why did the cow cross the road? He wanted to go to the movies. See you soon. Bye.